Hello guys, welcome to Daboski. Well, um, I've been on a journey of um, self-development and in the last video, the one I had with my friend Akola, I talked about using the app called Productive, which has considerably improved my, my lifestyle. Well, um, self-development is in stages and uh, when, when you start taking a step, you start finding out that there are other steps that you could take. For instance, one of my goals is, is, is that in a week I'm going to call someone who I've not spoken to in a very long time. And I've been able to meet up these, um, these goals. So then I added a new goal. I should visit people who I've not seen in a very long time. That take, takes it steps, um, in, at least a notch ahead. Other kinds of um, goals that I have where I need to start reading more frequently and maybe read every day so i've added a new one which is i need to start writing every day so self-development is in stages one doesn't have to just fly to be there you could take it in steps and eventually you get where you want to go well today i want to talk to you about the books i plan to read this year or and i've started as well and um, the few i've read They've really impacted me. They've, they've got a lot of um, positive influences. Like one is um, The Code of the Extraordinary Mind by Vishen Lakin, who is the CEO and founder of Mind Valley. You know, he talked about um, our body and ourselves being like a system that runs an operating system. Like we have an operating system. This operating system consists of and our cultural scape or our cultural beliefs it consists of um, our belief system, it consists of the, uh, our environment as a, a canvas, the, the backdrop of everything, how we've grown. You know, and it's possible to swap this operating system that we have with a new operating system. For, for instance, I used to have certain kinds of, uh, um, I don't know if I will say, and prejudice for certain kinds of things and even food like I, I, did, I don't really like okra soup but because I've started to I've, in fact I've swapped my operating system now I'm open to I, I'm a bit more liberal to even those things that I usually do not accept don't get me wrong I'm a liberal person but I'm even becoming more open now I eat okra soup I'm actually very selective when it comes to salad. I, I'd rather eat salad where I think that it was properly prepared because it's fresh food. So I, I don't want to start eating. I do not know how it was prepared. So I, 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 I can't go to a party and eat salad. But I could go to a friend's house and eat salad because I'm sure that it was carefully prepared. So I, I, I'm trying to be more open to say like what's the worst that could happen. And that's, it, it's, it's changing the way my perspective. It's changing the way I see things. You know, I'm I'm trying I'm trying things more. I'm I'm daring more um, adventures. So, Code of an Extra, uh, of the Extraordinary Mind is a good read. I would recommend it to anybody who wants to open up himself or herself. Now, another book I've read this year is um, You're a Badass at Making Money by Jen Cicero, and it's. That, that's another great book that has opened me up to see money differently because she says in the book that we've grown up to believe that money is a bad thing and that um, um, because the love of money is the root of all evil but she also says that it is better that good people have more money in the world so that we have more peace rather than having more bad people having more money and money is, is saying money is bad is almost like saying cars are bad because money is controlled by people and cars too are driven by people. A car cannot just get up and kill somebody. So is it that someone with money cannot use money to harm somebody? Uh, money on his own cannot harm anybody. It is how an individual uses money. And money is a messenger. So we need to start going out there to get the money and start, stop thinking. And of course, yes, she also made it clear that in as much as some of us will want to be altruistic, and be social and want to um, rather run an NGO than run, running a, a business, it's best you make money. And when you make your money, you use your money to do good, like for charity and all of that, rather than 
thinking or, uh, or rather, rather than wanting to go the way of um, social or welfare without actually you know trying to make money to change or, and then you start going to try, start raising funds from here and there so the Ibadas at Making Money is a very good book I recommend it to to for anyone who who feels that their finances are down and they want to improve their finances now the book I'm currently reading is Love Does Not Win Elections by Aisha Osoro. So far, I've found it very interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm one who loves um, politics and governance. I, I studied political science and public administration in the University of Port Harcourt. So I really love politics. So reading this book made me understand the, how it is. She, she, is a, um, she tried contesting for House of Representatives um, in the 2015 elections. And she, this book is just about the challenges she went through. I've, I've gone halfway, but so far, so far, it's, it's a good book. And while we're coming to political season, so I recommend it for anybody who is a political animal. Now, another book that I, um, I'm going to read, or uh, is, is on my reading list, is um, Principles. Principles by Ray, let me get, let me get the name, by Ray Dalio. You know, it's become highly recommended. I've not read it. You know, my target this year is to read 40 books. These 40 books are going to be mixed of um, physical books, um, e e-books on from my Kindle, and also um, um, audio books. So, Ray Dalio's um, Principles is one book that I'm going to read. I'm going to also read. Um, um, let, me, let me look at my list. I have a list of um, of audio books that I'm going to go through to to listen to, and um, which other book am I going to read? I'm going to also read um, Elon Musk by Ashley Vance. I'm going to also read. Um, well. Let me first read um, Principles. I'm going to start reading Principles after I finish reading um, Love Does Not Win Elections. So when, when, I, when I finish reading um, Principles, I'll give you a feedback of how the, the book turns out. It comes highly recommended and I think I'm going to just share that with you so that if you see the book anywhere, you pick it up you know, and you read. And, um, as of now. Yeah.